Are you looking to register for Project Catalyst using Adalite? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's figure out how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to register for Project Catalyst using Adalite, the first of the three wallets with Ledger hardware wallet support. Let's jump in. All right, so as previously mentioned, we're filming this video during Catalyst Fund 4, but if you're watching this sometime in the future, you can come to the IOHK support site, go to Project Catalyst, and check out the FAQ for the fund that you're in for more information on how to get installed and any specific particular information about the fund that you happen to be in. So for us, we'll open up the Fund 4 FAQ. We'll put a link to both this main Project Catalyst section as well as the FAQ for Fund 4 in the description below. And additionally, if you'd like some more information about what Project Catalyst is and how the voting works, check out our previous weekly recap where we dove into it in some more detail. The main thing you're going to want to confirm for any given fund that you're participating in is the minimum ADA required to vote. For Fund 4, if we scroll down, we see here it's 500 ADA excluding rewards. But make sure to double check for the fund that you're participating in, the FAQ for that fund, to make sure that you're eligible. All right, so let's get started with Adalite. As always, make sure that you're coming directly to adalite.io and double check the website that you're on. We're going to be doing this with a hardware wallet, so click on Hardware Wallet. I'm gonna enter my pin here on my Ledger Nano X. Let's unlock with Ledger. I'm gonna confirm the export of my public keys. It's gonna load our wallet data. Just some news, we can skip this. All right, cool, so we see we have enough here to participate in voting for Fund 4. So let's come over to voting. All right, so the next thing it's gonna say we need to do here is in order to participate in Catalyst funds, first you have to download the Catalyst mobile application. You can scan it here or you can search for it in the App Store. So we need to do that first and once we're done, we're gonna hit register. So let's go ahead and download the Catalyst mobile app onto our smartphones. I've got my smartphone pulled up here. I'm gonna do a search for Catalyst Voting. So there it is, I'm gonna click on Get and have it download. Once the download is complete, let's go ahead and open it. Once it's open, we're gonna get a nice little slideshow here. The future of Cardano, we'll swipe onto the next one. Discover, discuss, and vote on proposals, so we're good there. And now let's pick a challenge and click on proposals to start exploring. We get a little bit of a heads up here that tells us that all USD amounts displayed in the app will be rewarded in ADA. So it's just saying these funds are saying, hey, we want this much in dollars. But when the proposals are approved, they're going to take whatever is the ADA USD equivalent at that time and then give them their dollar funding in ADA. So we're good there. So we'll go ahead and continue here. And now we see let's complete our registration to receive our voting power. So we're all set here and we're good to go. So let's go back to Adalite and let's say, yeah, let's register. We're good there. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to select a pin, a pin that we won't forget. You're going to want to write this down and make sure you have it somewhere safe because this pin will be required every time you use the Catalyst voting application on your phone. Make sure to write it down. Losing this pin will require a new voting registration. Okay. So let's have something that we're gonna remember, and let's write it down somewhere safe. So go ahead and do that. We'll do the same, and then we'll continue. So we'll go ahead and confirm our PIN. Okay, so we see here, they've constructed the voting registration transaction, which connects the voting key to this wallet. The higher amount of funds that this wallet holds, the more voting power that it'll have. But no funds are supposed to leave this wallet at any time. There's a registration fee that we're gonna pay here, and that's the only cost that you should have for this process. You shouldn't have to send any ADA anywhere. Everything stays on your wallet and never leaves. And the other thing here, make sure that you keep your account balance above 500 ADA at least until when the round starts. Remember that the 500 ADA minimum isn't just right now for the registration, it's more importantly for when the snapshot happens. So if you don't have 500 ADA in your wallet when the round starts, your voting queue registration could be dismissed. So let's review the transaction to make sure that it looks good. We'll see here our reward address, our voting key, some fees, and then we can confirm the transaction. So at this point, if that all looks good, you're gonna hit confirm transaction. For us, I wanna stop and clarify and say that because the wallet needs to be linked to the app on the phone, and since we're releasing videos today for how to do this on Daedalus, Uroi, and Adalite, we already did the registration on the phone for Daedalus, but at this point in the process, no matter which of the three wallets you're on, the final steps are exactly the same. So for you, you're gonna hit on confirm transaction. When you do, it's gonna present you with a QR code and the process of scanning the QR code and finishing your registration is identical whether you're on Daedalus, Uroi, or Adalite. So we're gonna switch over here to how we finish the process on Daedalus to show you how to do that final scanning process and then we'll go from there. So let's switch over there and we'll continue on. 
Once we've hit continue, a QR code is going to appear. We're going to scan this QR code right now using our smartphone, but in addition to that, we're going to need it as part of the voting process when voting opens up. So what you'll need to do is either take a screenshot of this, print it out, or save it as a PDF like they have down here below, but make sure that you still have a copy of this QR code somewhere safe throughout the entire voting process, okay? So make sure you do that. So once it's been successfully downloaded or you've taken a screenshot or printed it out otherwise, we're gonna check off and say, I understand that I will not be able to retrieve this QR code again after closing this window. And I acknowledge that I must have downloaded the PDF with the QR code to vote in fund four. So I got ahead of myself and I closed that screen. Don't do the same thing we did. Make sure now is the step where you're gonna to want to get your smartphone, open it up. I have mine here in the center of the screen. Go to complete registration to receive voting power. You'll click on that. And now here it's gonna to say to register, open Daedalus Euroyer Adalite. And you're gonna to wanna to click on the bottom where it says scan the QR voting code. So you can either scan the one that you have on your screen right now, or if you did like we did and you closed it too early, you can open up the PDF and scan that. So go ahead and do that, we'll do the same, and then we'll check in with you right after that. Then once you've scanned it, and now it's going to ask you to confirm that pin that it gave you, that important pin you had to pick that you can't lose. So enter that pin in now, and then we'll go from there. So once you've entered your pin, hit decrypt and set access code, and we see here that registration is in process. It'll be completed for fund four here on this date. Your date will obviously be different for different funds, and then your voting power will be determined by the ADA balance in the wallet at the time of the snapshot. So it's not about the amount of ADA you have right now, it's the amount that you have when the snapshot happens, it's on your screen. If you're good with all that, hit, you got it. And so this is a common confusion that we've been hearing from a lot of people and we've seen that's been happening in the Catalyst message boards. At this point, you have registered. Even though it says your voting power is zero, the reason why it says that is because the snapshot has not yet happened. Unfortunately, there's no confirmation that says, hey, you're good to go, you're all set. But if you've gotten to this point, you scanned it, put in the pin and hit you got it, then you're good to go. Now all you need to do is wait for the snapshot to happen and for voting to open up. When the voting period does open up, we'll put another video out that's summarizing some of the different proposals and show how to vote. But for your registration, you're good to go. So if you want a little more information again about Project Catalyst, check out our previous video where we dug into it in more detail. If not, check out one of our other videos. Congratulations on getting set up for voting and we'll see you when it's time to vote.